Does being called the greatest quarterback in Gamecock history make it true? Today we're going to look at Connor Shaw by the numbers. It's no secret Connor Shaw is the school's winningest quarterback at 27-5 and and undefeated at home. Winning is an attitude, and winning more games in his four years than USC's first nine seasons in the SEC should not be taken lightly. But who are those starts against? 17 teams that went to bowl games. Three teams that won BCS bowl games. 12 teams that finished the season inside the AP Top 25. Shaw was 9-3 in those games, which is really impressive when you look at three higher profile quarterbacks. Wins are great, but quarterbacks have to throw the ball too. Shaw's strength is clearly efficiency, as he's only thrown 16 interceptions on 733 pass attempts. Meanwhile, another game caught great, Todd Ellis, threw 73 picks on 1,350 attempts. An underrated skill is his pass distribution. 29 different receivers caught Shaw's 480 completions, and his leading receiver never exceeded 25% of his completions in a given season. Over his career, 8 different receivers caught at least 30 passes, with Bruce Ellington topping the list over 3 seasons. His predecessor, Stephen Garcia, completed a staggering 37% of his completions to Alshon Jeffrey in 2010. Not an unwise move, but the ability to find the open man was a key part of USC's record-setting 2013 output in three straight 11-2 seasons. In a month that used to haunt Gamecock fans, Shaw went 11-1 in November over his career, including two convincing wins over Clemson. His bowl performances may be the highlight of his legendary career as he became the first quarterback in school history with three bowl wins, and his stats weren't too shabby in those wins either. The numbers check out. Connor Shaw will be remembered as one of the best ever, not for his wins, not for his grit or intangibles, but for all of that combined with his role in turning USC from a good program into a consistent top 10 program. His records are nice, but the very real transformation that he helped make will stick around for quite some time.